Hello guys, welcome back to Guitar Tips and in this video we are going to talk about how to fix the finals is having issue with can't connect to server and connection failed error which is happening for many of the users right now and how we can fix this error. So let's dive into this. The first one is all about we have to do a restart on the PC. So just go over here in the windows icon, go to the power icon, go for the restart. Once the restart is done, just try launch the game and that will be working fine. This is what we have to do as the first step. Next one is all about nothing but we have to make sure the date, time and region is correct. For this we just need to go over here, go to the search, now navigate to settings. From here we have to navigate to time and language, go for date and time, make sure the time and time zone, both all these things should be turned on and just go back, go to the language and region, make sure here you have to select the geography according to your country, so you have to select it. Once you set this up, just close everything and go back and try launch the game and you have to see whether that is going to work for you guys or not. If that is not working, don't get panicked. We can move to the third step. That is all about. We have to allow the game to Windows security. For this reason, we have to go over here, navigate to the control panel. Now from here, go to system and security. Go for Windows Defender Firewall. Navigate to allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. From here, we have to add the game, the finals. So uh, keep scrolling down and navigate to uh, the finals. So over here, we'll be able to find the game. So keep scrolling down once again. So the finals is already added. Make sure it is both the private and public. Both has to be selected. This has to be selected, which is very important. Both the private and public, both has to be marked. Imagine the game is not here. We can add it by default. Just click on the change setting. Go for allow another app, navigate to browse, navigate to this PC, go to local disk C, go to program file x86, go to steam over here, navigate to steam apps, now from here go to common, from here we have to navigate to uh, the finals, keep scrolling down and navigate to the finals playtest, select this one and go for open and add it. So once you add this, you have to make sure. What we need to do is we just need to, uh, you know, once you add this, we have to make sure that both the private and public has to be checked. Once afterwards, just close everything and we have to go back, try launch the game. Next one, even try it with us. If you're still having with the issue, next one is all about, we can run few commands in the CMD. So just go over here. So we need these commands which I'll be giving in the description so you don't have to worry. So let me copy the first command that is IP config flush DNS. Just go over here, search for CMD. Go for run it as an administrator, go for yes. Paste the first one, press enter. Next one we have to go for IP config release. We have to go there and press this one, press enter. Next command we have to copy one by one that is IP config renew. Just copy this paste it, press enter. Next one, that is net sock, wind sock reset. So just copy this, paste it, press enter. Next one, net chint ip reset. So just copy this, paste it, press enter. Next one, uh, sorry, uh, we have this one that is ip v4 reset, interface v4 reset. So just copy this, paste it, press enter. Next one, we have to go for IPv6 reset, so just copy this, paste it, press enter. Next one, we have to go for uh, INT ITCP reset, so just copy this, paste it and press enter. Once every commands are given from the description, just do a restart and go back and try launch the game. Next one, we have to reset the network settings, just go over here in the search, navigate to settings, from here navigate to network and internet. From here we have to go to advanced network settings, go over here in the network reset and over here make sure or tap on reset now. Make sure when you do this you will be losing all the Wi-Fi connections which is already connected which means you should be knowing the password of your Wi-Fi and you have to connect it back. Once afterwards try launch the game. Next one you can try out is all about we always use a wired connection which is a very important one. You have to use the wired connection instead of uh, using the Wi-Fi, use the wired connection. And also you can try updating the windows parallelly. Just go over here in the search and navigate to settings. 
go for windows update and just update the windows which is very important and also we have to disable the manual proxy just go to network and internet now from here go to the proxy make sure if the manual proxy is enabled you have to disable it once afterwards try and that will be working fine so these are the possible workarounds and i hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification see you soon in the next video peace out bye bye